Hello friends, this is Charles Brown and I will be showing you how to use this product. Now the first thing we have to do is you open the template and in this template you can place your designs. So you see here we have box and you can double click the smart icon thumbnail here and then you can place your design and when you are done go ahead and press Ctrl S or Command S to save the adjustment and close the window. So you can do that for all the sides of the box. The next thing to do is to open the action. We have the main action and we have the sub actions. So the main action go to the version. I'm going to load for CC. And you can go to window actions and you will find it here. And now let us also load the sub actions that we can use to customize the final result. And you can download this particular sub actions from our website. Then click on this icon here and activate the button mode. Now that you've placed designs for the box, if you intend to use a ground texture, we are going to lay the box on you can show this ground texture here, open it, and you can place the texture for the ground here. And remember to save. Remember to save the adjustment and then close that window here. So this texture for the ground is going to be converted also to 3D so that you can move it within the 3D space. And we have also here in the background, we have the one for the environment. So you can change all the ones that are placed in this background folder later on. So for this one is the environment and we have the sky. All right, so you can, you can change that later on. But this ground, if you intend to use any ground area, you will need to change the texture right now before playing the action. And when you are happy with the result, now go ahead and play box generator. And actually we'll now do the rest and generate the effect. Awesome, the 3D box is now generated. So we can open our comprising elements and you will find 3D folder here. When you open that, you will find main box. I'm just going to close this. So you find the main box here. And if we go to 3D, so if you're not using the 3D workspace, you can change that. If, if you are in Essentials, you can change it to 3D and you'll be able to have this area. Okay, so we have all the properties here. And the next thing to do, go to current view, select that camera. And with these tools here, you can transform the position and rotation of this box. Check this out. With this one here, you can move the position. And with this one here, you can totally rotate the box. Beautiful. And this one, you can also use it to rotate. And if you want to zoom, zoom in, you can select this one here and you'll be able to, to zoom in closer or farther. You can bring in can bring it much closer to the camera or farther away. So as you can see, it is very easy for you to actually use this product here. Now as you can see here, the light is only heating on the on the front area. So I so I want to have some light to heat on this right side. So that's where these sub actions come in. All right, I can go to my light here and then I can click right on right 
light so as you can see now I have it lighted up and if I should want to light up the left side I can click on and I will light that up too okay and if I want to turn off the entire light I can turn off the front light and everything is gone so I'll keep that on and I have that and here I have my shadow I can you know remove my shadow or I can keep it visible I'm just gonna hide all this grid and now we have the environment show environment and we have it here so if you want to change this photo you can go to can go to uh, go to environment select the environment layer double click that and you can place your photo here and always remember to save the changes you've made and close that window and now we can go back to our 3d folder and select main box here and we can actually change the position of our box to make it to our line and look I see if it's really there I'm just gonna zoom in a bit awesome and just gonna move that and check this out looking great and we have another one known as uh, environment blend so if I want to actually achieve a more realistic light of from the photo then I can generate the blend for that so um, you can you can click play this action and um, blend generate and it should generate the blend for it and it's done you can now from here choose the sensitivity of the light looking great I'll just you know use the number two and you can also change the depth of field of this environment you make it sharp or shallow all right so when you're satisfied click OK so that is it for the environment and this one is for the ground I'm just gonna hide this environment and this one is for the ground so this is a ground texture which is now in 3d space and we can actually rotate it you can now select the ground go to 3d folder select the ground and then select current view and you can make the adjustment you want to make okay so when you're satisfied with that I'm just gonna move it down a bit now you can apply wall you can apply a wall here okay or you can apply sky okay looking great I'm just gonna hide this and we have particles you can show that it's already shown here you can show it and also colorize the color you can go to color overlay and here you can change the color of the particles and you can duplicate control J or command J and then control T for transform and you can transform that I'm repositioning it, it, it so uh, it is in smart object so you can scale that without losing any detail and you can duplicate the layer as many times as you want and I'm just going to undo that and we have vibrant background which is the one you're seeing here you can change the color by just changing the hue 
and when you're satisfied click OK and we have Sun Bust you can change the position and also enlarge the bust and if your box is in a different position it is always advisable to move the sun bus so it can show from behind of your box to shine from the back of your box and when you're happy with the adjustment click uh, the check the check icon or, or press enter to approve now the next one we have here I'm just gonna hide this is Sun Ray so it's, so it's the same thing as the Sun Bust except this one is more brighter and more soft I'm just gonna hide it and we have uh, the soft background here which you can go ahead to change the color of this background so when you're happy with the settings you can click OK and you can change it also from colored to black and white and you can change the shade that means the brighter like make it brighter from the brightest to the darkest to take up the brightness and notch up so we have the light and we have the dark here and you can have this transparent or you can apply the background I'm going to make this visible now I'm going to show you the one for reflection so when you have already adjusted and moved your box to any direction that you want and you're very satisfied then you can generate the reflection for that I'm just going to make the environment visible here and I'm going to go for reflection generate alright I'm just gonna play that and action is going to generate reflection of the 3D box reflection has been generated you can press ctrl H to hide the 3D grid and the reflection is here inside the 3D folder you're going to find it here and we're going to use these sub actions to make any adjustment that we want to make so here you can hide the reflection and here you can show the reflection and you can also remove the feather and have it show completely or you can add the feather there and you can increase um, the sensitivity of light on that you can increase that as you can see so I'm just going to uh, go ahead and remove the feather here and I can bring down the visibility range of the reflection so click that now, of course you can increase it but I want it really soft this reflection is in 3D space we can go to 3D here and current view and we can actually adjust move it around and look at that okay so you can reposition it also in any way that you choose and that aside so when you're satisfied with all the adjustments uh, you've made uh, for the reflection you can add also reflection blur this way you can no longer edit it in 3D space or any of the light effects and you can play reflection blur here and you can blow it to any extent that you want just a little bit soft and I think 4 is great and click OK and we have our reflection And I'm going to show you now how you can animate this 3D box and you can use it as a GIF for your banners, for your social media pages or even for full HD videos. Now let's begin on that. I'm going to uh, use 
vibrant background here. I'll just hide first for the environment. I'm just going to hide that. Okay. And I'm just going to also hide my reflection. Beautiful. And you can click timeline. If you, if you can find it, just go to window and timeline. The next thing to do is click create video timeline. And you have a comprising element just like that. And you can open the folder. And what we're going to animate here will be our 3D box. So I'm going to go to 3D, main box. You should find that here as well. And let's say that I want to animate in two seconds. I see that here. So I have my two seconds here, and then I'm going to to uh, close um, the timeline. And what I want to animate is the camera. So you can click on this keyframe here to start the animation, and the key is now added. And we're not going to adjust the camera, I'm going to select the orbit and hold on my shift key so I can animate just like that and I can also have it zoom in a bit and a new keyframe is now added for this movement so if you move along the timeline it's going to position itself or the camera is going to set it back to the default, which is this first keyframe here. And that's it. You've now successfully animated the box. You can also go ahead and animate the particles. So I'm just going to go to, to particles here, select that layer. And we can do as we did before, add a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. So uh, just scroll up a bit, scroll this up and go to particles. We have it here, we open that and we add a keyframe for transform and then go to the first. And we can transform this according to the position and the size of our box. So I'm going to press Control T and our box is a bit zoomed in. I'm going to zoom that in a bit and I'm going to rotate that just like that. When you move through the timeline, you will see that our particles are already animated and you can duplicate particles many times and reposition it so you can add more dramatic effect as the particles uh, fly within the 3D space. Okay, and for you to export this now, you can click on this icon here and click render video. And you can set the size that you want for it to render. Or you can do that at the beginning by going to image. And then you can click on either the image size or the canvas size. So the best is to do the canvas size. And you can change this to 920. 1080, something like that. And you can do this before you start to animate the box itself. All right. And you can then go ahead and render. And to export this file as a GIF, first change the image size to the size that you want to use for this. 
So I'm just going to change this to, let's say this is 1,500, something like that, and click OK. And that will resize my photo. And I'm going to go to File, Export, Save for Web, and here you can select GIF. And if you want it to loop, you can change it from once to forever. So let's change it to forever here. And I'm going to just make it to fit here. And when you play this now, it's going to loop as it plays it. Then when you are done with all the settings here, then click save and you will save it now as a GIF. And don't forget, this package also comes with elements. So if you want to design banners and other kind of graphics, you have several elements here that you can use. You have these 3D ribbons. This one goes at the back. This one goes towards the front. And you can reposition that. And we have a couple of tables here. Just gonna hide this. So we have this table one. So select table, open it, and go ahead and edit the text. And remember to save the update. Let's close that. And we have table two. We have table three combined with ribbon. And we have table four here. And we have table five. Okay, these elements were also included in the one for After Effects. So I suggest you check out also the one for After Effects, where you can do a lot of great stuff inside After Effects using Richworks 3D Box product. Okay, so you can change anything there and animate several elements inside After Effects. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any question, feel free to ask and we will do our best to answer them. Best regards.